Hi, my name is Melissa and I am the founder of Little Black Desk Society and the facilitator for our masterminds. I'm excited to introduce you to Karina Mora Metz of Karina Mora Prints. She is a mastermind member and she is going to share her experience with us today. And so Karina, welcome. Tell me a little bit about yourself and your business. Hi, thank you so much. Um, well, I'm Karina. I am in the Chicago area and I'm a photographer. I've been a wedding photographer for about nine years, but in the past year I have focused on um, being a fine art photographer who, who specializes in taking photos in Mexico and then I print them locally. I frame them here so that you when I send them out, they're ready to hang in your home. I love it. Why were you looking for a mastermind to begin with when you started several years ago? Yes. So I started back in 2015 uh, with a mastermind. And it was at a point where I was looking to grow my business. Um, and I wanted to grow my mindset along with business growth. I felt that I had taken a lot of courses, but I didn't have that one-on-one -on -one or the communication um, to help me not only take my business to the le next level, but also take my mindset to the next level. Um, so that's what I was looking for when I wanted to join a mastermind. So the mindset and the one-on-one -on -one and the community, correct? Yes, for sure. I feel like being a business owner is very, can be very lonely, um, a solo entrepreneur. Um, and I just needed others to help me along and encourage me through my journey. What were some of the things that you were looking at as you were considering different masterminds, like as far as factors or conditions in what would make you choose one versus the other? Like what was important to you as a business owner at the time? for a mastermind to have? I really wanted the mastermind to be um, other women that I could communicate with. I wanted, just like I wanted to gain a lot from the mastermind, I also wanted to be a contributor. So I really liked the fact that like we're all on the, kind of on the same level where we can respect the other person's opinions and they respect um, my advice as well. Um, Cause at that point I had already run a business. And so I felt like I wanted to encourage other women along their journey while they were also helping me along mine. It's, it's so important to get other people's perspectives, especially people's perspectives that might not be in the same industry and can see those, those holes that you might not be able to see in your own business. I love that you said, two things that you said that stood out for me. One that I love that you said other women in different industries seeing holes in your business, because I think that's really important, especially that we're not secluded within like bubbles and either our circle or our industry where everything starts to be the same or that we don't see things like you said. And so having people outside of that bubble or that circle that can give us a new perspective because that's a lot of times what our customers are at. Like they don't know the industry terms, they don't know the things inside. And so that helps with the feedback. The other thing that you said that I appreciate is the mutual respect, the give and take and shared advice and opinions between women. Really important. So you were looking for community, the clarity and the connection. You said you've been with us, and I know this, for three years now, which I appreciate so much. And I have loved seeing your journey along the way and your contribution to all the women within the community. Like you really make a valid effort to connect with each person and to create a connection. And how do you do that? Like, what are some things that you do to make sure that you create a connection with the other women that are in the community? and the mastermind? I feel like 
even though we have like mastermind meetings where we have a set time where we're communicating and talking about our goals, it's the in-between times. Um, it's the following on so each other on social media and sending each other personal DMs uh, throughout the week. Um, it's commenting on other people's posts and encouraging them as they accomplish their things, not just waiting till the day that we meet, but it's actually being having a relationship with them um, throughout the week. I agree wholeheartedly. How do you think that approach and that intentionality has impacted your business? It has, I mean, it's pretty much everything. I feel like we have goals and we have um, things that we want to accomplish during the week. And sometimes it's the encouragement throughout the week that, and the accountability throughout the week that actually helps us accomplish the goals um, because things happen and life happens. And it's like, it's knowing that other people are on your side and want to see you succeed and are there to encourage you, even if you might not be feeling super great or you've had a low that day, it could be a simple message that really gets you through the rest of the week. I agree, especially I think because we work from home or virtually so much and having that connection is really important. Has there been a specific example or instance where the mastermind has helped you and your business grow? Specific example, it, well, so many, so many ways. Um, but I feel like sometimes I, I feel like it's great when I can pose a question that I can be stuck on. Um, it might be having to do with marketing or customer operations um, or a process. And I might feel silly asking like someone else, or I might feel silly not knowing the answer, but I know that if I post in the group or if I ask a question that there is no judgment within the mastermind and everyone is so willing to give the answers, even if it seems simple. Um, I just feel like so encouraged when something like that happens um, because I can be a little prideful in wanting to ask for help, but every time I do, it helps me and it really propels my business forward when I can put my pride aside and accept help from everyone else because everyone else is so willing. When you say prideful, what's your interpretation of what that looks like? Like for someone that's listening and doesn't necessarily understand the context of the example that you shared, like what do you think sometimes gets in the way or holds people back from asking? I feel like because I've been a business owner since let's say 2010, 2009, um, I feel like I should know the answer. And sometimes the question might seem to me a little uh, simple, simplistic, like, oh, well, of course, this is the answer but it's really getting me stuck and going to the next step. So I, that's what I mean by I can be sometimes stuck in my own pride um, because I, I'm the kind of person who is so, like it's so easy for me to pour out encouragement and pour out advice, but it's harder for me to actually ask it. <laughs> You're not alone in that. I think that's the case for a lot of us, especially as entrepreneurs and small business owners, because it's easy to help other people, but it also takes strength to be able to accept help and ask for help. Because like you said, it makes us vulnerable and we don't know how we'll be perceived when we put that question out there or that request. So kudos to you. Thank you. Yes. And I think being part of the mastermind, like the longer I'm part of it and have gotten to know the women in the group, the easier it is for me to feel safe asking 
questions that I might think are silly. And nobody else thinks that they're silly. Um, and that's like the great thing that there's no judgment. No one's going to laugh at me. Um, it's a very trusting environment. And I appreciate that. How do you think that that is created? Like what contributes to the place where you feel that one, you've created those relationships where you can feel safe or comfortable to ask those questions? I think it's in part due to the facilitator and in part like just the like the facilitator is the one who's going to create that environment saying like please ask questions um, and it's the fact that when someone does ask a question that there are a lot of answers and people are chiming in and wanting to help and I feel like that also is because of the mastermind meeting itself it's very much like give and take so we all take turns asking for for help and we all take turns pouring out our advice um, so that environment then translates to the the weekly questions that might pop up and helps us feel safe asking those questions because of the interactions that we've had in the main meeting time. And you think that's because everyone, because of the way that the mastermind is structured, has an opportunity to share and receive equally? Yes, for sure. That's awesome. Thank you. Yeah. How is your, and you alluded to this a little bit, but just so others that are watching this can know too, how has your business evolved over the past three years? It has evolved completely. Um, like I said, I am a wedding photographer and I've been a wedding photographer since 2009. And within the past two years, I decided to shift my business and launch another business. Now this business has gone, so I've gone from service-based industry with wedding photography to a product-based business with my fine art prints um, from Mexico. And that shift is like a, a 180. It is completely different. Um, and that has happened within, so it started with the idea two years ago and we're coming up on a one year anniversary of launching the new business. And that has, that has been like my life for the past three years. And it's huge. I've loved watching the transition and your growth with your new business because you're so passionate about it. And I think it really is in alignment with who you are and where you want to go without delving into too much detail. So for those that are interested, go to Karina Mora Prince and you can learn more about her story there. Um, since you've been with us for three years, what would you say has encouraged you to stay within the masterminds for the amount of time? Because for a lot of people, different things are for different seasons. We come in and we get from what we need from it and then we go on to the next thing. And that's part of growth and evolution within our personal development and also within our professional development. What has kept you coming back? Uh, I think it's, it was because of the mastermind that I realized that my wedding photography business was getting a little stagnant. And as, um, we were talking about growth options. I realized that that it like I had no passion, or yeah, I hadn't, I didn't have the passion to continue growing it to a bigger business. And with the shift to a new business and a new way of selling and marketing, um, it has been like I I would not have been able to be where I am. Um, in the new business without the mastermind. So I knew that I needed to stay in the mastermind or the switch from service-based to product-based would not be as easy. I knew I needed that accountability because starting a new business is scary and I knew I was gonna have a lot of questions and I just needed 
um, people to keep pushing me, encouraging me that I was that I was going to be okay, that I was doing the right thing, and be there to answer my questions when I got stuck. So I knew that it was an, a necessity for me um, for that transition. The accountability that you mentioned of the structure that's in place within the masterminds, what do you think has impacted your business the most? Like, what do you like the best of the different things that are in place there? I like the structure on how to actually go from having a goal, like how you actually get to accomplishing the goal. So I feel like the structure to get to the goal in, is gold. Um, so I, I feel like the way that you break it down from a, a quarterly goal into monthly goals, into weekly goals, into daily goals. It takes the questions out of what should I be doing every day when I sit down to my computer or sit down to work. It, the process and the organization that it takes, I never realized that part was missing. I had goals and I would say, okay, well, I'll accomplish it, maybe doing this, and if I didn't reach that goal, I'd be like, okay, move it on to the next month. But like before there was never something in place like an ABC process, but the ABC process is actually what gets us to accomplishing the goal. And I feel like I have accomplished so much within the past just year of launching my business because of that process that's in place. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. The goal achieving, like what you said. So we use the goal tracking chart and tracking the goals and our results. And how do you think that that has helped your growth this year? Like it's, go ahead. I feel like being like, I'm a visual person, so I need to see the steps. And so actually seeing what's next and seeing it on the spreadsheet and being able to check it off and make notes about it and why it might not have worked out, what I can change for the next time that I try it. Um, it's all very visual, and I feel like I need that in order. So I need to see what happened in this month in order to tell me what's gonna happen in this month and what's gonna happen two months from now or three months from now. Um, and because it's all like we're all able to see everyone's progress, like that's where the accountability comes in. Everyone can see where we're going. Everyone can see where we have been and like celebrate with us the accomplishments and also help us along if they see, like if we ask a question like, oh, I didn't do this. How can I get to this next place? Um, I think it all just ties together. How did you adjust to the tracking aspect of it because like you said that's new the a b c part of achieving the goal and then the sheets that are in place for the accountability and the tracking because that was new to you how did you become adjusted or acclimated to it for someone else that could be coming in and it's a new process for them yeah and i i mean i'll be honest at first it, it was a shock um <laughs> at first it took me maybe a month to actually like see what act, what is what we're putting together and the plan that we're putting in place um, and it 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 does take a while it's a shock because you realize that you have the answer key to how to accomplish your, your goals like you put down what you what steps you need to accomplish and I feel like it's a shock because you actually see the potential of reaching bigger goals than you even set out for yourself. Um, and it all starts with that first step, like seeing that first month and saying like, oh, I have everything that I need. I have my day-to-day -day goals. I have my weekly goals. And that's going to lead me to the monthly and the quarterly. And maybe I can even like get to my five-year goal 
in two and a half years because I have the steps um, already in place. That's awesome. And I really do. I love going back and, and this is part of the accountability, but also the fun part of facilitating the masterminds and helping you is seeing your results and your answers, but also your aha moments that you share, like when you're making notes in the refinement process of tracking your progress. And to what you were saying, like, because we can see each other's, it also inspires you, uh, like what's possible. And sort of for me, like can burn a fire to say, okay, if they can do this, then I can do it as well. So yeah, for I sure. Love that you shared that. Um, what advice would you give to other women that are looking for a mastermind? Should they be looking to join one? What would you tell them? I feel like if you, I, I really encourage people to be ready for growth when they join a mastermind. Um, joining a mastermind might be something that you hear like in podcasts or other business owners are like, oh, well, you are at this point in your business, you should join a mastermind. And people might join masterminds because they feel like it's the next step. But unless you're serious about planning and actually wanting growth, um, because it is a lot of work, it is hard work, and you need to be willing to put in that work or it's not going to work for you. Like you need to, to make sure that you have the time to actually sit down and look through um, your day-to-day -day goals and like, like that chart, that workflow that I was talking about, like you actually have to sit down and make that happen. And the more you do it, the more it becomes routine and you do it faster. But at the beginning, it might be a little daunting or it might be easy to give up because you're like, oh, this is so hard. Um, but it really is like once you get used to it, it will propel you and like growth is inevitable. Uh, so I just say be prepared for that. And I tell that to anybody who is looking for a mastermind. I'm like, you need a mastermind, but you need to be ready to do the work. You need to be ready to commit. And you do a great job of that because you, like you said, you've made it a part of your routine. And so you are there every week. And as far as the accountability factor of this is what I'm going to accomplish this week. And I think both like you've seen the results in your own business, but also for those that are watching and listening, like Karina also helps lead by example because she comes in and does the work. And then also like we get to see her progress and her milestone achievements along the way that it encourages others that are within the mastermind. And so I love that. And that's why I've really enjoyed having her as part of the mastermind for the last three years because our businesses have both grown together. And a lot as far as evolving as we've evolved as business women. Anything else that you want to share? Um, I feel like if you're listening to this and you're on the fence of like, oh, well, I don't even know if it's possible for me to get to the next point. Like maybe you're at ABC and you want to get, you want to jump to F and you are like, I don't even know if that's possible. I want to encourage you that it is possible. All you need is a plan in place. And that's exactly what a mastermind is for. Awesome. Thank you so much for being here and sharing your experience with us, Karina. Again, if you are curious about joining a mastermind, visit our website at www.littleblackdesksociety.com. We would love to start a conversation with you and have you join us at the table. Wishing you well and have a great day.